Hello everyone and welcome to this video on MOS logic in MOS uh, transistor and in MOS logic gate how the DS would be designed. This is then a series of videos under the course of digital design given by the code as U18 EC407 for the BTEC fourth semester students. Coming to the lecture outcomes on the completion of this lecture students would be able to analyze the operation of n channel depletion and enhancement mos transistors and explain the working of n mos logic gates we will see the different logic gates uh, the logic gates we will be discussing today uh, one is uh, not gate second one is uh, nand gate and nor gate after the completion of these gates you can implement any number of gates as you know that so coming to the logic families, uh, to which logic family this uh, NMOS belongs to? So first of all, uh, already every time we are discussing this one, classification of logic families is broadly classified in two categories, bipolar and unipolar device. So all the bipolar devices discussions have been completed. We are moving to the unipolar devices. In the unipolar devices, we are taking the first uh, unipolar device as NMOS. So we are going for uniposa, unipolar logic device family. And in the unipolar logic family, we are discussing on NMOS, metal oxide, semiconductor, field effect transistors. So first of all, what is a field effect transistor of FET? Okay. Field effect transistors are unipolar transistors. Since why they are called as unipolar transistors? So single type carrier would be there. It could be either n type carrier or p type carrier. So when you go for n type carrier, we say it as n channel. If you are having p type carrier, we say it as p channel. So transistors FETs are of two types: junction FET. Junction field effect transistor used in linear circuits and uh, metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor used in MOSFETs. So, we will be going for making use of MOSFETs for our design. So, here this is used in your yeah, linear circuits. Usually, we are not going for linear circuits, we are going for what digital circuits. So, they are MOSFETs are used in digital circuit. We will take this one. First of all, how the construction of a MOSFET is been done? This is being fabricated using of different fabrication steps. The MOSFET. The first step would be like uh, taking an uh, if you're going for an uh, end channel, we'll take an uh, P-type substrate. Onto the P-type substrate, we'll go for uh, putting up. Uh, Two dopings and a uh, gate, all this one using of metal. Uh, so over here you can see a P type substrate is been taken into consideration. First P type substrate. In this one, two N type dopings are been there, and uh, a channel of N type. If your uh, dopings are of N type, N channel will be there. And this the middle portion is the gate region which has been uh, uh, put up by the some oxide, and then uh, about to this one. Contact cards are been made up using of this metal. The total uh, structure of a MOSFET. So one thing uh, you need to take it in consideration is that every MOSFET will have four uh, three terminals actually. One more per terminal we set as substrate. We do something in MOSFET. Three uh, terminals: source, drain, and gate. So one thing is that the source and drain can be interchangeable. You can say it is this one, other time you can say this one. And MOSFETs are of two types, N channel and P channel. N channel MOSFETs and P channel MOSFETs are two types of channel MOSFETs. And next one, when you go for the next topic, uh, when you go for P channel uh, MOSFETs, you will be having N type subject onto the N type subject P type dopings, the channel will be there. And uh, when you go for P uh, N channel MOSFET, you would be having uh, N type dopings 
so n channels will be created and will be hung. And let's learn one more thing is that MOSFET is first of all it will classify into two categories. First one is enhancement MOSFET, second one is depletion MOSFET. In enhancement MOSFET, already the uh, the channel will be established. Once you give a pause for N MOS, once you give a positive supply, the channel will be established. Plus, if you give a negative power supply or zero volts, the channel will be established. Depletion MOSFET already the channel will be created in that in the construction itself. So very rarely you will be using for the depletion MOSFET. Enhancement MOSFETs are my so this is an example of an depletion mass. So here a channel is been already in place before going for operation. And then depletion mass. These are the characteristics first of a channel this uh, depletion mass. Now coming to the next one, uh, enhancement mass. Enhancement mass. The channel is not been created, but once you go for uh, giving in a positive voltage at the Gate, you would be getting an end type channel, and uh, so here you need to give an, an a positive voltage, uh, which is said as a threshold voltage. Once you have, uh, apply a voltage greater than the threshold, the channel. So these are the characteristic curves for end channel MOSFET. We are not uh, much uh, bothered about uh, this one. So this is very important over uh, here. Uh, N P N mean to say it is N channel MOSFET N type tokens and P type substrate N channel MOSFET first one is N channel MOSFET so two P type tokens and one uh, this should be also N type substrate we say it as P channel MOSFET Likewise, these are the circuit symbol for enhancement. You won't have any line over there. For depletion, you will be having a broader or a thicker line over there. So here, this N channel circuit symbol and this is P channel symbol. These are the symbols which are used in your um, circuit representation. So here, one thing we want to tell you. Enhancement and depletion MOSFET. Here, yeah, once you go for this slide, you yeah, just to have a glance about the classification, how the difference rate between enhancement and between So, coming to the first one, in N channel MOS logics, first we will take into consideration of an inverter. So, here one thing you need to remember is that whenever you give a positive supply, the N MOSFET is on. When you give zero volts, N MOS is off. So here, when you are giving a positive voltage, this transistor is conducting it is on. What is the load over here? So it is going to the drain here. You will be getting an. What? When you give an input as low, this transistor is. When you give an input as high, when you give an input as high, this transistor Q1 or the MOSFET is on when it is on the total vdd vdd voltage would be drained to the ground and what is the output over here output over here will be zero similarly when you apply a low voltage or zero volts what happens is that this transistor is off and the voltage over here is nothing but what is important is that this circuit doesn't have any resistor In channel MOSFETs doesn't have resistance, so the resistance would be like this: the continuous conduction, load conduction would be given like a resistance in So here, this would be the circuit like this way for nine gate circuit. When you go for nine gate circuit, this is the nine gate operation. So the same way you will be having this is a VDD resistor and nine gate operation, which has been shown over here. So this resistance over here. When you see this one, this is equivalent to this resistor, continuous conduction of transistor Q1. Now, when you go for this one, check it up whether you are getting an A, B full bar, that is non gate or not. When A is low, when A is low, A and B, I will write the picture. 
when a is low b is low when a is low b is high when a is high b is low and both are high what's corresponding output when both the inputs are low low when it is low it is off this is on at this moment output is what on when you say output is high because this both are cut off so output is high when one of the input is low then that will particularly uh, side again the same thing happens there is no path established from vdd to ground so output would be what high when you go for another input high you will be getting as vdd to high last case when both the inputs are high high what happens is that uh, the output is this is a connection uh, vdd to ground and the output becomes as what Zero or no? This is a inverse line. Okay, then this is one more uh, circuit which is representing a inverse NOR gate. When you go for inverse NOR gate, having two inputs. This is the resistance and this one. So when A is equal to zero, this transistor is what? Or this transistor when you go for low NOR. But zero zero. So when you give zero zero, no. but uh, we are taking as y. So what is this? Uh, when you give zero zero volts, what is the output? Output is called five volts. Now we have VDD voltage. VDD or five. When it is zero one or one zero or one one. When it is zero one, there is a path from here this one. So output is what? Zero. When it is one zero, it is one zero. When it is one one, it is zero. Which gate it is normal. That is even uh, circuit for inverse NOR gate with the show away function. So I think uh, by the end of this completion of this one, we are able to analyze the operation of n channel depletion MOSFET and enhancement MOSFET, and we are able to explain the working of n channel. So. Lecture level problem is first you go for the operation of n channel MOSFETs and outline the problem of uh, n channel, that is the operation of n channel MOSFET logic gates. More you can uh, try for the different gates or different circuits. Thank you for watching this video.